hello, David Harper of Bionic Turtle with a brief tutorial on how we bootstrap to calculate a discount function. The discount function is a set of discount factors. And what's a discount factor? Well, here we have D of 0.5. That's the 0.5 is half of a year. So D of, five, D of 0.5 is the discount factor for six months. And it gives us the present value of a dollar received in six months. So the discount factor is just a multiplier to give us the present value. So here it, for example, D of 1.0, that's the discount factor at one year, gives us the present value of a dollar received in one year. So for example, here's a discount factor 0 0.97557. That means if we multiply that discount factor by a dollar and we receive the dollar six months forward in the future, then it, today's value of that dollar, the present value of the dollar is 97 cents and change. Similarly, what is the value of a dollar today? So that's the present value of a dollar received in six months. We could just divide by the discount factor at six months. A dollar, again, present value, divided by the discount factor, gives us a dollar point zero two five. That's the future value received in six months. So you can see the discount factor is either a multiplier or a divisor to convert a present value to a future value or vice versa. Now let's look at bootstrapping and let's assume that I have five bonds each with different maturities. I have a bond with a six month maturity and its market price is $98. Then I have a bond at one year maturity its market price is $99 and so on. Each of these bonds have a face value of $100 and they each have slightly different coupon rates. My first bond is very simple. It matures in six months, it has a current price and no coupon. That means if I hold the bond I'm only looking at a single cash flow. And here's the cash flow right here. It's the face value that I will receive as the holder of the bond in six months. So the discount factor in this case is very simple. It's just the price of the bond divided by, here's the price of the bond, divided by the cash flow or face value of the bond in six months. If I divide 98, the price, divided by the face value, I get the discount factor because we only have one cash flow. So in other words, if I take the discount factor of 0.98 and multiply it by the hundred dollars, that's the face value I'll receive in six months, I get $98, which is the market price. So you can see I ne that's necessarily true because I simply divided them and solved for it. Discount factor times the cash flow equals the current price. Okay, so far that's not so helpful. Now we get to the computation of the discount function with bootstrapping because now we want to calculate the discount factor at one year. And what do we have to do that? We have a bond that matures in one year with a coupon. Now this bond has two cash flows. In six months, you can see in turquoise I've got this first coupon. In six months it will pay us a two dollar coupon. That's because it's a four percent coupon on a hundred dollar par value so that's four dollars per year paid semi-annually means my each coupon at six months is two dollars. So in six months I receive two dollars and then in another six months that's one year out I receive 102 which includes a coupon plus the return of the par value. So hopefully you can see this bond that matures in one year has two cash flows and 
that means each of those cash flows would have a separate discount factor. If I only focused on this bond, I would have a problem because I would have two unknowns, that's two discount factors, but only one equation. However, I've already calculated the discount factor at six months because I had a separate bond to do that for me. Therefore, I already have the discount factor at six months, which we know right here is 0.98. So I simply carry that over, it's the same six month interval, and I can use that discount factor on the first coupon. And so if I go down here just to get the formula to show you, I'll bring this up. Now what I want to do is solve for the one year discount factor. And that's given in this equation here, first the market price of this one year bond is $99. That's right here. That market price has got to equal the present value of the cash flows. So here's the first cash flow, the coupon multiplied by the six month discount factor. Here's that coupon, here's that discount factor. That's the present value, this term right here is the present value of that first coupon. The only other cash flow then is the $102, the second coupon and the principal. I need to discount that at the one year discount factor. That's the value that I don't have. So that's what I'm solving for. But you can see I've got a market price. I already have the six month discount factor. So I have one equation and one unknown. My one unknown being the one year discount factor. So that I'll go down and get, move this up just so you see. I can solve for the one year discount factor just by rearranging as a function of the current price minus that first coupon multiplied by its discount factor divided by the cash flow that I receive at one year. Okay, so I'll move that out of the way a bit down here. And you can see right here I put that formula in the current price minus the first coupon multiplied by its discount factor divided by the $102, the second cash flow. That necessarily gives me the discount factor that again makes this statement true. This is the only discount factor that if multiplied by the second cash flow and added to the present value of the first cash flow, which is the coupon times the discount factor, returns for me a number that happens to equal the current market price. So that I've bootstrapped to solve for the discount factor at one year. And I'll just go over here to the right and you see I did that. I won't show you the other calculations, but I calculated those out each for at each six month interval. And what I get is a discount function which is the set of discount factors, it slopes downward, which is what we would expect. We would expect the present value to be lower as we go out further. And so this discount function is a plot of the discount factors. When we go out to solve the one and a half year bond, we bootstrap because we already have the discount factor for the six months and the discount factor for the one year. So we're only gonna have again, one unknown and one equation. So this is the discount function. It's the set of discount factors. I hope that was helpful. This is David Harper, the Bionic Turtle. Thanks for your time.